Hello and welcome to the channel, it's Erad, and in today's video, we are going to talk about something that, until now, in my opinion, at least dramatically uh, was missing in Star Citizen, something that discreetly has appeared in the game, and even more so recently with Update 3.23, something that, in my eyes, is a primordial element of any game that is uh, worthy of our attention, and here I want to talk about the possibility to get rare items in the game by playing the game. So yeah, I'm saying more so in 3.23 because, well, it's been a while now already, quite a few updates that we can see the beginning of the shape of the direction towards which the game seems to be moving forward to. It's something that uh, we have seen, seeing with the uh, appearance of uh, weapons and armor pieces that were uh, happening to, to appear in rare loot boxes, something that were eventually spread every now and then across various outposts or bunkers or even some shipwrecks but here the possibility to find rare objects really went through a whole direction in 3.23 with the addition of legendary armors which according to me really changes the way that players are going to be motivated to play the game moving forward. So first, we're going to talk about this legendary armor here, which you may have seen in one of the previous videos that I published a few days ago. And of course, you will find that video in the pinned comment. And this is a piece of armor that belongs to the Dusters faction, which is seen around planet Hurston. And that's basically where you are going to be able to find gang members that may have this piece of armor here. And they are usually at the derelict settlements, but not just that, because in the PTU of 3.23, I was able to take part of some combat missions that took place at some distribution centers and I was able to fight some of those dusters over there and I wouldn't be surprised to find the legendary armor in those missions. If you have unlocked those missions, by the way, let me know in the comment section down below. It's something that I'm doing right now on my main account and of course, once this will be done, I will also make a video. So make sure to subscribe to uh, be notified when this one will be made available. So, there we have it. We know where to find this legendary armor, but we also need to talk about why this armor is legendary. Well, first, there is its rarity. If you are actively looking for it, on average, based on my calculations and the testimonies from my community, it's going to take about six hours to find it. As far as I'm concerned, it took me about eight hours, but some uh, for some of my members on the ERAT club, it was also a little bit less. By the way, if you want to join the ERAT club, you'll find the link to our Discord in the uh, description down below. Uh, we are always welcoming new members. And so if this armor is rare, it's also because it offers some advantages, which are quite significant. The biggest one is, of course, the fact that it gives you 17 slots for your ammo. But not just that, of course, it's a full armor with 40% of protection, which is the maximum that there is in Star Citizen. Oh, sure, it's nothing different compared to the 40% that you can have anywhere else out there in the verse. But this piece of armor here has something really cool. That's this big ass cape there at the back, which I think is really taking full advantage of Star Cloth. I don't know if you remember that technology that we saw during the last year's Citizen Con, right? Something that they've been talking about for quite some time. Well, this is allowing us to have capes in the verse, and I think that this armor really looks damn cool. I really like also the helmet itself, which makes me think of a French TV game called Fort Boyard, uh, and the, <laughs> there's some characters there in that game that have exactly the, the same type of armor, so it's very reminiscent of that. For me, at least, uh, having grown up watching some uh, French TV when I was young, this is <laughs> really looking pretty cool. Some people don't like it so much. I guess it's kind of a mixed bag. Let me know in the comment section down below, by the way, how you guys feel about the looks of this armor, and uh, what kind of advantage do you think this is going to be giving? I think it's going to give a good advantage in PvP fight because you're definitely going to have more ammo with you or you'll be able to carry two weapons with the same amount of ammo per weapon as if you were wearing a regular armor. So that's also something worth considering when choosing your armor for a fight. All right, guys, that is all we have to say about the legendary 
armor. I'm so hyped about it. I'm so excited. I'm hunting for it right now. Probably after this video is published, I'll go for about an hour or so and look for another set. And I'm sure that you'll see more of that on the B-roll footage as I'll be playing the game. Thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to Andrews Dunn who helped me for Citizen Con here. Thank you so much for the extra $20. If you too want to help me out to send me to Citizen Con, well, you have the link down there in the description down below. A big shout out to my YouTube and Patreon members, including Dr. Fabin, Zero Caution, Deploy, Fidel, and Ducky to Ducker. I have been Irad. I'll see you guys in the next one.